Good morning, everybody. It's June here. Um, apologies for, uh, oh, my hand for a start. <laughs> apologies for my um, puffy, horrible, sort of a zombie-like appearance this morning. I am going to do a tutorial. And this is a video response to Deb, uh, Mrs. The Doll, who um, uh, has done a satin taupe, MAC satin taupe tutorial, and basically just you know, um, has asked for any video responses that people might have um, in terms of just tutorials using the same eyeshadow. So I am going to take a slightly different take on it and do um, one now. I am, um, excuse me, I just get my brushes here. Um, I am just about to go to work. So obviously uh, this look is going to be a daytime look. It's not going to be anything too dramatic, but it will be uh, something you see it it'll be there and um, I hope you like it so um, I'm just going to start off by using a MAC shade stick in topographic oops this shade stick is uh, wanting to come out of its container <laughs> so um, I hope my mirror won't um, annoy you I hope it won't come into view but if it does just excuse that okay so I'm just going to put that on the lid and I'm using that as a base for my eyeshadow. This is a much, um, it's a very warm taupe, I will say. Um, it's more brown than taupe, really, this one. It's certainly a, a warm, a warm taupe. Uh, then satin taupe is sort of a warm taupe anyway. It's, it's certainly not a grey shade, uh, satin taupe is quite brown, so I think it'll suit, it'll suit it well. So I'm just bringing that up to the um, crease there, alright, and just a little bit under the eyes as well. Very baggy eyes today. I don't usually have bags under my eyes, but today I have for some reason. I think there may be some um, pollen about. My eyes are terribly sensitive to um, pollen and things like that. Okay, so next step, I'm going to take this eyeshadow here, and this is called Dazzle Light, and it's just um, it's like a very pale gold color, and I'm just taking that on. Um, this uh, 234 brush, which is one of these kind of um, two sided brushes. Um, so I'm just taking it on the natural bristle side. And all I'm going to do with that is just put that on the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so that's just to kind of give a little bit of light to the inner, the inner corner. Okay, that's done. Now the next thing I'm going to do then is take um, some of this eyeshadow here, which is Omega, and Omega is a kind of a beigey color, neutral, very flat, matte beige color. And I'm going to take that again on. Uh, no, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this brush here. This is a 286 brush. So I'm going to take that and. I'm putting that just above the crease, just as a kind of a very subtle, um, there goes my mirror, sorry about this, There, that's just to kind of give a little bit of a blending um, colour and something just to give a little more contour, you know what I mean. Okay, so here we go again on this side. Okay. Just 
see a little more on the left eye there. Okay. So that's that. And then in with the satin taupe, um, the star of the show. <laughs> and satin taupe is this really nice sort of it's a nice warm mauveish taupe with a a bit of shimmer. So I'm going to take that on this brush again and this time I'm using this on the outer corner of the eye. Okay, So that's going out here. Outer corner and blend it across the eye and I will sort of wing it up slightly you know, and then once I've got it on the corner I'll open my eye and just kind of Make sure that the colour is visible, that it doesn't just sink into the cut into the socket line because um, my eyes are very deep set. So you know I want to make sure that that colour is noticeable. One more brush here. This is a Hakuhodo little small shader brush. So I'm going to go under the eye with the satin taupe with this brush. And um, I prefer this kind of brush to a pencil brush. Oh, good lord. I'm just looking at how puffy my eyes are this morning. It's definitely um, some pollen around somewhere. fact that I'm 40 has nothing to do with it of course. Now, right, that's that. Now, so um, next step is, oh yes, I want to put a little bit of a deeper colour around the uh, lash line and I'm going to use for that Shadowy Lady which is a, a deep, kind of very dark, kind of plummy brown. So I'm going to pick up a bit of this colour and just Put it along the lash line, smudging it out. Eyeshadow is just such an easier, so much easier to use for eyeliner than um, anything else. And what I do is I bring it across and wing it up a little bit at the at the outer corner, which will sort of lift the eye as opposed to going with the contour of the eye, which is going tending to go down. You know, your eyes are almond shaped like mine. The corner will go down and you don't want to follow that line. Bring it across and lift the corner of the eye. So straight across with the eyeshadow to meet the middle, kind of roughly the middle or to the inner third of the eye. And that lifts the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just... What I like about Shadowy Lady is that it has a little kind of, that, that reddish, reddish colour is great if your eyes are green. Um, because, you know, it's not bright, but that tone will emphasise your eyes if they've got green in them. Okay, just a little bit under as well. Okay, so that's the, more or less, the finished look. I'm not going to put any highlighter on my eyes um, because I just don't think it needs it. Um, my brows, I've done nothing with them. They're completely just as they are. <laughs> and um, so that is the eye look. I'm going to put on some mascara and uh, I won't subject you to that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so um, this is the finished, finished look. And um, so just to recap, I use topographic shade stick as a base. Then I put dazzle light in the inner corners. Um, I used um, 
Omega then as a contour colour, um, satin taupe in the outer corner and under the eye and then I used a little bit of Shadowy Lady as um, an eye defining colour and I used uh, Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara um, as my mascara. Um, for foundation I have um, Clarins, um, oh what's it called, Everlasting Foundation in Ivory and my blush is called Phone Me, it's a MAC Sheer Tone Blush and my lipstick is MAC Blankety. So that's my look, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was easy to follow. Um, take care and two of my Catrice giveaway winners have contacted me back, which is brilliant. Um, there is just one left who is Silk Mandel and so hopefully I will hear from her in the next day or two. So take care everybody and I will see you soon. I'm on my way to work. Wish me luck. Bye bye.